Welcome back to Audio Tree Live. My name is Rita Lucia. Today's date is Friday, April 14th, 2023. We have an amazing show for you today in the studio. We have Abby Holiday, all the way from Nashville, Tennessee. The session you're about to hear is available through the Audio Tree Artist Profile through your favorite streaming platform. So please follow us over there and please subscribe to us here on YouTube as well. We really want you guys to be able to keep up with all of the new and exciting talent we discover just for you, just like this band, Abby Holiday. Go ahead and take it away, guys. Hi, Abby. Call me when you get a chance. I love you, Angel. Hi, Abby. All I think about is how I can call you all I Are you sure you asked twice? I never take 
don't know what I want You said goodbye about one, two, three, four, five, six times It doesn't feel right They always let me out alive They always let me out alive What if I'm wrong? to Abby Holiday. That tune was called I Don't Know What I Want. Abby, you just released your album yesterday. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, dude. It's called I'm Okay, No, I'm Not. So relatable. Same. <laughs> um, you know, your songs are really kind of, I don't want to say brutally honest because mm. it's not cruel. It's just like really vulnerable. Mm. And the lyrics kind of read like diary entries. Mm. Do you feel like writing lyrics help you move through what you're going through? Totally. Yeah. I think a lot of times I don't know how to vocalize how I'm feeling until I like write about it, yeah. um, which is interesting because it's like writing songs is such a, you know, a vulnerable thing that you're sharing with a lot of people. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I feel like this record is me saying everything that I wish I could say, but sometimes feel like I can't. So definitely helps. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you have this lyrical moment in your song Noise where you kind of break the fourth wall and talk about like you reference yourself and mm. you, you say um I must be the shit for using all my problems sing them but I never solve them mm -hmm. T. <laughs> that's the T. <tea>. you know <laughs> what I mean like I think like sometimes as artists we go through the lengths of making art out of what we're going through mm -hmm. and like our fucked up headspace but like don't address the fucked up headspace yeah you know what I mean totally um so this is your second album. Mm -hmm. How do you feel like this record is different from your first one? Do you f still feel like you're in the same space? A little bit. I think, I feel like my songwriting carries over into the second album. Like, yeah. I feel like it's a, a bit more mature than the first record, um, but totally just like still feels like me. In terms of production, I feel like I took like more risks than I did with the first record and just have like, I'm continuing to find my sound and just like figuring out what I want to sound like. So, um, yeah, I feel like it feels like a, a step up, but the thing that stays consistent is my songwriting. I would hope. The songwriting. Yeah. yeah. And I got to listen to it. I got a sneak peek <laughs> and I, I can definitely hear that evolution in the production value. Mm. Like it's just, it just goes a little bit deeper and it's like, you're a little bit more experimental and yeah, mm -hmm. it's cool to see. It's cool to see your progression Thank you. and you're so young too. And what you've accomplished, it's, it's really cool. Thanks so much. Yeah, dude. Appreciate it. Well, whenever you guys are ready, I'd love to hear some more. Cool. Amazing.
You guys are in the middle of a nice long tour with Michigander. Yes, How's that going? we are. It's been great. We've been out for three weeks at this point, so it's the longest tour I've done uh, so far. It's been a blast. Yeah. Um, I was going to ask you, like, it's a long tour, it's grueling, because your music is so, like, emotional. Mm -hmm. Is it hard to sing these songs, like, night after night? Like, do you get put in that same emotional state? Yeah, the guys were just asking me this the other night I think 
I am learning how to turn off part of my brain a little bit, I think, when I'm playing. Mm -hmm. Um, Just getting into the routine of doing it every night. Like, it's still emotional for me, but I feel like a lot of the emotions that I'm singing about, like, hit me when I'm off stage rather than Mm. on stage because I'm just like, just get through it. Like, you know, connect with people and be honest and be yourself. Um, But I think if I, like, fully allow some of the emotions to hit me when I'm on stage, I, like, wouldn't be productive. (laughs) So, um, yeah, I think the first few nights were the hardest of tour, just, like, playing some of these songs in particular in front of people. But um, it's it's gotten easier, I think. Yeah, it's a weird thing. But yeah. Yeah. Well, how does the rest of the band feel? Like, um, do these do the songs or the, the do the lyrics have the same effect on you guys? Are you guys able to kind of detach and just like focus on the musicality of it all? Or I know you like sing along too, so I'm like <laughs> wondering about your guys' headspace too. Yeah, I would say for me, um, I'm not as personally connected to all the songs. Obviously, as Abby, um, Ohio Laundry Room hits hard for me as well because it's about a family member Mm -hmm. um and when I think about it too much I get emotional and I think there's like at least one moment in every show where I start to think about it and I just put my head down just in case a tear starts to fall um and then kind of have to switch off my brain like Abby was talking about so yeah I would say that song and specifically is heavy. That's really fascinating. I feel like I I watch a lot of bands that like really get into it. Like if it's an angry song or whatever, like they they have to kind of like riff off of that anger that they're feeling and like dredge it up every night. And it's kind of interesting. It's kind of the exact opposite where you have to like actively suppress it just to like get through the song. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's really cool. Yeah, I so, think it can be both. Like sometimes. Yeah, like Ohio Laundry Room feels like the hardest song to play. And a lot of that it one's is... devastating. <laughs> not gonna lie. <laughs> yeah, there's like a lot of emotions in it, but I think like sadness and loss is like the main thing that I feel. Um, but I think there's still opportunity to like get into it when you're playing because it's like, I don't know. I also recognize that like when I'm talking about the song and singing it, like it's, it feels like the most personal song to me, but it has also like seem to be the song that most people come up to me afterwards and they're like, I relate to that so much. And I think that's almost like a motivator to just like do it better, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if you've ever experienced grief or loss, like your lyrics are just like really relatable and it Mm -hmm. just kind of distills this very succinct, relatable feeling that if you've ever gone through that, I would imagine that it's really healing to, be in an audience and participate in that and just kind of like share that, share that with you. Mm. So it's really cool that you get to do that for people. And that's actually going to be one of the next songs that you guys play. I'm really excited to hear it. It's been a pleasure, but thank you. Yeah. Whenever you're ready. Yeah. Thanks so much.
Thank you. <laughs> Hi, Abby. Call me when you get a chance. I love you. For coming in guys thank you that wraps up our audio tree live session with abby holiday i want to give a big thank you to the talented crew who makes this happen the sound engineers the camera and lighting crew and to you guys our viewers thank you so much for watching the session you just heard is available on the audio tree artist profile so head over there and listen to it we love you guys thanks for tuning in see you next time all right so you guys want to do it for real now